In order to become a data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, whether you're self-taught or went to college, you need projects. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to come up with a project idea, no matter the data set. Now, not all projects are built the same, and it really depends on what kind of analyst you want to become. So let's dive right into it. Now, really pay attention here. It's so important to figure out what kind of data analyst you want to be. Now, there are two routes you can take. First would be called a general data analyst. You don't really care the job title. You don't really care the company you work for. You just want to become a data analyst. Now, this is the route I took because honestly, I just wanted to get my foot in the door and build my way up there. But the problem here is that while there's a lot of jobs to apply for, my application to interview rate decreases this way simply because I'm not specialized in any particular domain, which leads me to the second way, a domain specific data analyst. This means you want to enter a particular domain such as healthcare, financial, marketing, you name it. This is the way I would go if I had to start over again, simply because you are specialized in a particular domain and you are seen as more valuable to that company. This gives you a higher application to interview rate, but it also decreases the amount of jobs you can apply for because you are limiting yourself to specific jobs. So like I said, figure out what kind of data analyst you wanna be, and then we can move on to projects. So let's talk about that. So to start, a general data analyst, since we're not limited to any particular domain, we could kind of pick whatever data set we want and start building off of that. So what we're going to want to do first is pick a data set that interests you the most, because the more interesting it is to you, once you build that project, when you're presenting this project, it comes off as more confidence. You are more interested in that project just in general. It'll be shown in your body language and you won't really sound boring. And if you don't know where to get a data set, let me show you real quick. If you already know, feel free to skip ahead. So first we're gonna to wanna to head over to Kaggle. And then simply go to the search bar, put in whatever you want. We could go ahead and click data sets right here and then find some dummy data and download. Also, on a side note, Kaggle is where you can literally get any data set you want. All you have to do is search for it. So if you're really into banking, they have that. If you're really into sports, they have that. It's really up to you to pick a data set that interests you. So after you have your data set, you're going to want to put yourself in your manager's shoes. So what would your manager want to know about this particular data set that you found? So for example, if it's a marketing data set or something to do with sales, like the Tableau Superstore, you might want to look at sales numbers over time or over certain periods of time. So what happened this year versus last year. But to make things really simple, let's go ahead and use ChatGPT real quick. So going off our example, let's say we have marketing data and we want to create a dashboard from it. We simply ask, act as a hiring manager. I have a marketing data set that I need to gain insights from. What are some business questions I can answer that would impress a hiring manager? Now it's gonna show us a few questions we can now use for when we create a dashboard. I see way too often dashboards that have no direction and seem chaotic. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is really focus on answering the business questions and only them. Now just repeat this process. This is the foundation for any project you wanna put in your portfolio. And if you wanted to go a domain specific data analyst route, you literally just do this, but do it three times in a row for your three different data sets or your three different dashboards. That's really all there is to it. You don't need to create an overly complicated project. You just need to answer those business questions because once you do land your job, this is exactly what you'll be doing is answering business questions. You won't really be exploring the data too much. That's only right when you start the job. Maybe your first three months, you're just digging into all the data. But after that, you'll be getting projects left and right, and you just want to answer what your manager wants. And make sure to subscribe to the channel as I'll continue to help you become a data analyst. See you soon.